All right, hey everybody. So today what I wanna do is do three things. One, we're gonna talk about Baker Creek again. Two, we're gonna knock out the onion experiment that was started, my daughter, a friend of mine and I started about, what was that, three months ago? Mm -hmm. uh, four months ago, somewhere in there. We'll do a recap on that. And then we're also gonna do something that of course me, being Chad, forgot all about. So <laughs> I'm gonna own it like I do on this channel. I would invite everybody to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Just hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell so you're always notified whenever I upload videos. Share, like, and comment on the video. Got the Facebook and Instagram pages. The links are right here. Now, let's do it. Okay, so on the last short that I did the other day, I talked about Baker Creek. Now, if y'all been a, if y'all followed this channel for any length of time, you know there's three seed companies I get my seeds from: Baker Creek, Seeds for Generations, and MI Gardener. Those are the big three that I like the most, but Baker Creek is my number one. A few days ago, they sent out the emails to everybody Everyone that subscribed to their newsletters, and they announced the 2023 pre-order for their seed catalog. Now, I'm not gonna beat a dead horse here, but if you all have not gotten on that Baker Creek train, you need to do so. Company is great. Their seeds are always really good. I have great germination rates with their seeds, so, uh, I highly encourage you, if you have not already gone and pre-ordered that seed catalog, do it and do it quick because that thing goes very fast. Okay. For the first thing that I want to do today or focus on today is going to be the onion experiment. Now, if y'all remember, well, you know what? Let's not remember. Let's just do a recap. Now, here's a question for you. Ever been walking through a supermarket looking for a vegetable of some kind and see something like this? It's a red onion has growth coming out of the top of it. Now that's pretty crazy to me. And it got me thinking, why not do something with this? So we are going to plant it and see what it does. Being completely honest, I have no clue if this is going to do anything or if this is just a big waste of time, but I like to do experiments. So why not give it a shot? So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna see if this will do anything. No? Okay, so as you saw there, when I planted this onion, it was just a red onion with a little sprout coming out of it. And now, if you look at this thing, it's huge. Now, one telltale sign when you know onions are done or garlic is when the bottom leaves start to die like this. So, it's been like this for a while. I've just been putting this off, but today's the day. So let's find out exactly what's going on down here in the bottom of this pot. But to do that, we're gonna go over to the table. All right, so here we are. We're going to go and dig into this thing and see what's in here. Now, to be completely honest, I have no clue. This might be a big waste of time or it might actually have onions down here. I don't know, let's find out. Looks like there's nothing in here. Oh, look, two onions. Oh, look at that. Two onions. How about that? Make sure there's nothing else down here. Okay. <laughs> hey, you got dirt in your nails. <laughs> I got dirt in my nails. Ha, wait, do this. Like, let me do that. There we go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm gonna be totally honest with everyone. I expected nothing to be in the bottom of this. I just figured the onion would have put on some roots maybe and decayed and not really produced anything. But there are two red onions here. And the smell of these onions is very strong. Wow. So that's really cool. That was a great experiment and it just shows that if you're at like a farmer's market or somewhere and you see something that might make you think, hey, what would happen if I did this? Then do it. There's no reason not to do it. 
but hey, there it was, success. I like that, that's really cool. Okay, so we're going to flip now to another experiment. Not really an experiment, it's just something I forgot about. Now, how many times have you, as a gardener, whether you're a new gardener or an experienced gardener, said, you know what, I'm gonna save this pot or this plant or this, you know, whatever, and get seeds out of it? Okay, I did that last year. And I'm gonna show you in just a second what I did. Now, my okra plants, I let last year get really long. Well, when the okra pods get super long, you can't really do anything with them. It's like the shell is just so hard. So I told myself, hey, <laughs> why don't I save these for seeds for this year? And of course I forgot. So let's see what happened. Okay, so this is what I, well, you know what? Let me just show you, come on. I'm making it. Okay, here's a good example right here. This okra pod right here is just too long to do anything with. Now, it's still a little soft, but the shell on this thing is going to be, is going to be so hard, you, you can't even eat it. So the only thing you can really do with this, at least for me, is save it for seeds. And this is what I did last year. And let me show you. Last year I had a lot of pods this big or even longer. I put them in a container, I wrapped them in paper towels to let air flow and to absorb moisture. And I stuck them in the top of my pantry. Now, the reason I did that is the top of my pantry is cool and it's dark. So it will help, at least I thought, would help dry out the pots. Now my oldest daughter organized my pantry like a week ago and I just saw these the other day, or yesterday actually. Yeah, I just saw these the other day and was like, hey, I totally forgot about those. So here we go. So this is what they look like when they dry out. As you can see, the seams of the pod have opened and I don't know if you can hear it, but the seeds inside are completely dry. Now what I wasn't expecting was this. Some of the pods have mold on them. And what I was going to do is just throw these away. But why? Maybe the moldy seeds can still grow. I don't know. But if you look inside right here, I don't know if we can get this on the film. The seeds, these seeds have mold on them. So here's what I want to do. Or here's my question to you all. I'm going to plant these moldy seeds and see if they'll grow. Reason being is why get rid of seeds if they're viable, even if they have mold on them. I don't know if the growing process will get rid of that mold or this is just a big waste of time, but you know what we're going to do here on Down Home Backyard Gardening? <laughs> we're about to find out. So I'm going to plant some seeds out of this moldy pod and seeds out of one of these healthy pods in this bucket that we just took the onion experiment out of because obviously the soil is very healthy and we're going to see which ones grow or if they both grow or if they don't grow but let's find out we've got a runner <laughs> we have a runner she's a runner she's a track star okay so if you come in on these you can see the fuzz on these being on these seeds right here these are obviously the moldy ones and then we're gonna go ahead and open up one of these healthy ones and you can totally see the difference in these seeds. Let me put them on here so we can actually see. So though, those actually look very healthy, like what you'd get if you ordered okra or you went and bought okra seeds at like Home Depot or Lowe's. These look totally not right at all so here's what i want to do we're going to do a true scientific test here same variables and everything nothing's going to be different same soil same nature everything's going to be the exact so same go ahead and create two trenches here the trench with the stick will be the moldy trench Ew. so so we're going to put four well, this one's a really, really moldy one, so we'll put that one in too. Okay, so we have five moldy okra seeds right there. 
Then we're going to take five of these healthy ones. And we're going to put those on the trench without the stick. That's how we'll tell which one is which. I could easily, I could easily label these, but... And there we have it. The moldy seeds and the non moldy seeds, the, the normal seeds. And for this one, since we're just doing an experiment and I want to see a true experiment, I want to see a true result. I'm not adding the bone meal or the blood meal that I normally would. This is just strictly to see if the moldy seeds will grow. Or, and honestly, to see if the other seeds will grow. Because I didn't know if I saved these seeds the right way or not, but let's find out. <laughs> The seeds are in. The only thing I need to do now is water this in, and then I'm gonna sit this somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna sit this somewhere where it gets lots of sun uh, because okra loves the heat. Okay, everyone, so that's the video. What do you all think? Do you think the okra seeds are gonna grow? I really hope they do. Because if they grow, then at least I know how <laughs> to save the seeds because I had no clue. I just figured, same, same as storing as the seeds, a cool dark place is probably where it'd be the best place to save the seeds. I don't know, but um, I'm, I'm anxious to find this one out. Also, were you all surprised with the onion experiment? Because again, I'm totally shocked that I had two onions. Uh, I didn't expect to even have one. So that was really cool and made me really happy. I'm super excited about that one. And again, Seriously, go over to BakerCreek.com, I'm sorry, it's RareSeeds.com and pre-order the 2023 seed catalog. You will not be disappointed, I promise. It's like 400 plus pages. It's crazy, 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 and I love it because I'm a nerd. <laughs> okay, everyone, hope you all enjoyed this video. Hope you got something out of it. Hope you learned something. And it, it, the one thing I learned, especially in this video is you know, when you see something and you have an idea about doing it, just do it. I know I've said this recently in one of the other videos, but I really believe in that. Don't limit yourself as a gardener to anything. Try it, experiment, see if it works, if it doesn't work. If it does work, great. Think of ways to tweak it. If it doesn't work, again, great. Think of ways to tweak it. That's all I got for this video. As always, everyone, shine bright and harvest hard. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so hey, bonus. I don't have any bloopers in this video, but let's do a bonus right now. Three days ago or four days ago, I did a video where I planted a bunch of, uh, I planted a bunch of crops for August. It's le it literally four days and check out <laughs> what is already happening with those seeds. Could not be more excited. Okay, if y'all remember, this is the squash bed. Now, there's a squash coming up. There's a squash. There's a big squash right there. That one. And I expect in any day, all the center area where I planted those seeds are gonna start popping. But already in four days, I've already got that kind of growth right here in the squash bed. But <laughs> that's not all. Okay, right in here is where I planted all those okras. These are the orange okra, which they're coming up right there and right and right there so in a few days this whole area is going to be lines of okra and then right over here this one right there is the motherland okra so those are starting to pop up and then if you look along this fence line right here all of these are the carrot or I'm sorry are the cucumbers that are coming up that I planted now, I also planted carrots, but carrots take 10 to 14 days to germinate. So those have got at least another week or so before they start putting on their heads. But I'm very encouraged by what I'm seeing already. What this tells me is that my soil is good. It's healthy. The seeds were good and healthy. And we're going to have plants growing here, already getting a jump start on the fall. So, um, oh, that's another thing. If you all have not gotten on, if you all have not gotten on track, for your fall seeds your garden whatever you're, you plan on doing in the fall do it now right now now's the time to seriously start planning i'm gonna keep beating this like a like a drum <laughs> seriously though you, you got to get on it so 
Um, hey, everyone. Thanks for watching.